installation in UEFI mode. So we'll install Windows 8.01. So now what you have to do is that you can press F2 or delete key. Yeah. So here. Restart the PC. So press F2 or delete. Tap. So now look to default setting that if F5, then go to advanced mode F7, F7, advanced mode, okay, and now go to boot, and then go to, go down, go to secure boot, enter, select, order, operating system. Then now you go to you back, then go to boot option one, select DVD. In but here you select UEFI. Okay, instead of this DVD, because we're going to install in UEFI, so you select UEFI. Here, number two, uh, boot option two, select hard drive. This is P1. Number three, not required, you can disable. Then now, press F10 to save and exit, then yes. So here it will show you in small. Press any key to put from CD of D in very small. Okay. Not big like legacy one. Okay. Press now. Here, you can select that one, 64 bits, that is 8.1 into 64 so enter so my language is english yes click on next here install windows here pro okay you can select pro 81 pro and here install and update net free mode then here activate windows permanently and here enable diagnostic and recovery tool set then here manual partitioning and here after that you understand yes here i don't have any important file in this one in this pc so here this this type of partition is mbr master boot record so but the BIOS we already select as GPT. Okay, so MBR is support legacy BIOS and GPT is support UEFI BIOS. So now what I'll do is that okay, this is UEFI, so you cannot install here in partition 2. You see, there you can format, but you cannot go next. Clear? So what you have to do is that okay, so what you have to do because there is no important file here if there is important file then i have to convert this hard drive into a gpt using a third party software but here there is no required okay because there is no file so i can delete everything and i repartition a new one okay i'll delete first everything then i'll repartition okay i'll create a new partition so i'll delete everything this one also so that i can create new partition so next is that what you have to do is that click on new so here i will give 80000 so equal to 80 almost 80 gb so this is your c drive and three system reserve is automatically create three system reserve okay you see one two three so this is your c drive this is your system reserve recovery system system reserve this is your c drive so here you can divide this one okay you can divide or you can leave it like that also no problem but here in gpt partition you can divide up to 128 partition 128 partition where is your c drive tell me yeah you cannot go next this is also you cannot go next because you require at least 16 gb or 20 gb for 64 bit 
So this is your C drive. This partition 4 is your C drive. Click on format. After you click on format, okay. Then you click on next. So this will take around 40 minutes to complete the installation. Okay, next. Clear? So that is all for installation of UEFI. Windows 10, uh, Windows 8.1, 64 bits, UEFI. Clear? Yes, sir.